Fishing sucked today. It was like 20 mile an hour winds. It could blew this boat all over the place. But, so we figured, screw it. We'll do a walkthrough. So, this is a Sun Tracker 22 DLX fishing barge. Which, if you look them up on YouTube, there isn't a whole lot of reviews about how people set these up. At least I couldn't find any. So, we'll show you how we set ours up. Come on. Start in the front. We got a fishing, uh, yeah, fishing. We have a loading ladder. It's from Harbormate. Um, there was a lot of reviews online about how hard they were to hook up because a lot of times they said you have to relocate this trailer pin for tie down. Um, a lot of people that have these just moor their boats up and they don't really trailer them, but we are spoiled and we wanted to trailer ours and have one. So we bit the bullet, we bought one. And so when I hooked it up, I just moved it back using the factory holes. I just moved it back, bolted it with Sun Tracker 22 DLX. You do not need to move this if you just scoot this back. The only downside to this is when you extend it, it's a uh, seven and a half foot. So when you extend it, you lose about 10 inches right here. Um, and then it gives you a little bit of a step here, but it's not a problem for us. Um, we, a lot of times we use it whenever we can't get to the shoreline if we have to get off the boat for any reason. And we just sit it back a little bit, extend it out. You can extend this from the front door of the boat if you just lay, like, lay down and reach under the boat and pull it out. It pulls out really nice and it retracts really nice. Moving up. Um, anyway, if anybody's thinking about buying one of them, how they recommend it they are awesome so moving up we have a trolling motor just quick disconnect 24 volt Minn Kota Trovo, Trova, I believe has the iPilot and stuff on it um and we set this up with a quick disconnect you just pull this out and it off the boat um with this boat in particular I don't know about all pontoons but with this one when you load it and launch it, you have to take the trolling motor off, which is why we went with the, disc, the quick disconnect. Um, otherwise it gets caught on the trailer, which if you look right here, we figured that out the hard way. First time we launched this boat, it took us like 20 minutes to get it off the trailer. It sucked, but it's real easy to take on and off. Um, literally two seconds and it's done. Hasn't been a problem for us. But in the future, we want to put in LED lights. I have them. I just haven't done it yet. Um, that way, when my wife loads the boat, she can see at night. Because we do go out of the water at night a lot. But And guys, if you have a wife that loads and unloads the boat, and you can run the truck, it's awesome. My wife's amazing. Anyway, come up top. So right now, we have it kind of in fish mode. We have two fishing chairs in the front we took out because it just gives us a really big casting platform. Um, on this side, we have the trolling motor battery compartment, or it could be for storage if you don't get the trolling motor. Either way, um, has a cup holder and a rod holder. Kind of makes it pretty nice. Um, these are stand-up rods. If you After you launch the boat and you're going out to your fishing spot, you can stand your rods up and get them ready a while. We can hold four on this side and we have two over there on the other side so we can do a total of six up front this is a live aerated live well or well minus our trash we use it as a cooler because we don't keep fish but it is an aerated live well and you can control that from the helm you got another cup holder and another rod holder here um moving back we put in our own scotties um we troll some and it makes it nice because you put two rods out for trolling and they're on both sides so and then we also have a wheelchair accessible door um if you have an elderly for parents or friends that are handicapped or wheelchair ridden um they can still come out because this will accommodate a wheelchair coming off the boat launch makes it really handy and it also works as a door to bring fish in because this boat does sit a little higher in the water and um yeah it's an all-around awesome door but moving back we have a changing station that this flips up and then a curtain goes a whole way around so if you are um i'm not doing it because if you look in there we keep our table there we keep our swimming stuff in there it's a pain to dig out 
but if you need to dig it out there it is it's right here so if you would happen to have like a porta pot on board or you are out swimming and want to change out of your swimsuit into dry clothes it works awesome right there's where that stays um over on this side now with this with the sun tracker I believe they are the only boat to do it. I'm pretty sure they have a patent on it, but they have what they call a stow and go storage, which the backs of these seats open up. We keep our grill and stuff, um, paper towels, and just our random food, lunch prepare, preparation, possibly supper, depending on how late we're out. We keep that in here, but this is an awesome because it like doubles the storage on this couch alone. It's pretty cool. And then underneath, oh, and these, help, these chairs, if you look, I'm 6'3". So when I sit down, I got long legs and it comes right to the back of my knee. It's pretty comfortable. But anyway, dry storage, which is lockable. Um, we keep our tooling, our camera stuff, our fish finders, towels, anything we don't want to get wet stays down in here. Um, that trolling motor comes with a remote control for an iLink or iPilot. So you can control everything with a remote control. You can do anchor lock, you can do spot lock. I think it's the same thing as anchor lock. Cruise control, you can record a track and it'll take you the same track again. There's a lot of features, it's pretty cool on it. And it's linked to our um, fish finders. So they all kind of talk to each other. Minn Kota and Hummingbird both have a contract that they can, like their stuff syncs up as like a one boat network, which makes it really handy, which is why we have two seven inch Helix Hummingbird Helix 7s that we have on the boat. I don't have them on right now, but it's pretty wild. It's side scan, it's mega, mega imaging, side imaging, and mega down imaging. Um, full GPS. You can even link your phone up to them, so if you get a text message, it'll pop up on the screen. So when your wife's yelling at you for going out fishing, you can see it on the fish finder. Moving back, we have another, well, I'm about to break my neck on that cord. We have another stow and go storage. We keep tackle in here, but this thing is huge, guys. It, it will literally, you can put towels in, you can put a drink in, you can put a fishing rod or two in if it's small enough, if it breaks down. But that's that. And then you got a huge amount of storage under the seat. And this thing goes back in like you see my arm right it goes back into my elbow legitly like tips of my fingers are pushing the back of that seat right now so this whole this whole thing right here is storage underneath here plus the whole front of the seat and these seats are like really plush like you can see it there but and then we have more storage underneath this one which we keep our life jackets blanket my wife gets cold sometimes jackets and other just random articles of clothing, rain gear, that kind of thing. Um, over here on this side, we have the helm. It's basically just a regular helm station, nothing special. I do have a three bank battery charger, a Minn Kota. I wired up in there so that way everything is kind of all the same, Minn Kota or Hummingbird. Um, and don't mind the messy box, that's just parts for future additions to the boat. And then your area to live wells right here on this switch. These are just the controls for the hummingbirds. Courtesy lights, anchor lights, nav lights, um, RPMs, speedometer, you know, your basic standard run of the mill gauges. You do have two cup holders on here. And then that was my head you just smacked. <laughs> you have a place for cell phone. So you can legitly throw your phone in. 12 volt charger charger you can charge your phone makes it really handy and the stereo system does bluetooth to your phone so you can listen to pandora itunes spotify whatever you listen to while you're fishing or it could be the sounds of your wife screaming at you for not taking her along or going fishing in the first place but um and this helm chair is awesome too dual armrest it swivels it tilts it lays back and if fishing sucks you can take a nap so, Bimini's a, oh, what do they call that? It's a one-man operation. So basically, you just open it up there, 
assisted list, lift assist. Put it there and then it goes up by itself. Real easy to put up. It's a nine foot bimini, has LEDs in the bimini. Um, moving back, and I put that up because I'm six foot three and I didn't feel like bending under it. We have a tackle station. Now y'all can do however you want to put on here. This is what we this is where we keep our trolling stuff. Um, it could just be your tackle if you only want to use it for tackle station. There's a lot of room on this thing, so if you don't have a lot of tackle, this would be plenty. I believe it holds 12 3700 cases. That's a lot of tackle, depending on what kind of a fisherman you are. If you are a serious angler, that's not a lot of tackle. If you're a serious if you're not a serious angler, that's a lot of tackle. So again, it's whatever you guys choose to put in it, but that's what this is technically called on the website is a tackle station. And then we have our trolling rods down here, which we added these. Um, it'll hold four rods, I believe. And then you have two little cubbies down in here, which we keep our planter boards here. Um, this one we haven't really found a spot for, but I'm sure it'll hold 3,600 cases if needed or towels or whatever y'all feel like putting in it currently we have nothing in it but and then back here we have more stand-up rod storage so in theory we can stand 12 rods up to get out to the fishing hole that we would choose to go to um and we can have them rigged and ready ahead of time we slap them up in and we hit the road and we go you cannot i would not you can do what you want i would not drive tall tow the boat haul the boat whatever with rods in here did it once ended badly my brother pulled the, the rod out of the tree that took it out of this boat so he almost got a free fishing rod i wasn't a happy camper this is an extra fishing tackle box we put on the boat because you know that's just what we do we're trial and error fishing so we have a lot of fishing crap but anyway two more fishing chairs go back here so there's a total of four fishing chairs, which you can remove them if you want to go into like full blown fish mode, or you can put them in if you have a bunch of people on here. This boat will technically rated to hold 11 people. I think it'd be a little cramped with 11 people. Plus, I don't think I know 11 people that I want to take out with me. But besides that, you could put that many people on here. We've had, I think, seven or eight at one time. I think it was that many and six of them were fishing and they were very comfortable fishing on here. So that kind of made it pretty handy. Um, there is another live well back here, which again, we don't keep fish. We don't use it as a live well. We use it as more storage, but you could. It is aerated and very easily you could put, and it comes standard with this bait bucket. Um, but we use it as storage, but it, it is aerated. So you could use it as a live well very easily. Um, and then on this one, if I can open it, is our extra battery or our big motor battery. And then we keep an anchor and some trolling or some anchor and some anchor line and tie off lines back here. Just kind of the stuff that you need, but you don't want to have tripping over and in your way. So that's pretty much what we keep back there. This spot here is for that table you saw earlier. There's a table mount here and there's also one in front of the L lounge. Which makes it really nice because if you turn your captain seat sideways and you set the table sideways like lengthways two people can sit there and eat lunch very comfortably eat supper very comfortably um the table has four cup holders in it and a decent amount of space for subs or hot dogs hamburgers whatnot um i know a lot of people put actually grills on their side of their boat we fish so much that i don't we just take our grill well, you've seen it up there on and off the boat or we cook off the, on the on the bank or whatnot. A lot of times we'll take cold subs out. Um, but that table is really nice because it gives you a place to eat. So anyway, on this side of the boat, we have more. <laughs> we have big trolling rods. They take up a lot of room. It's a pain in the butt, which you'll see in a minute why. We did this. This holds four trolling rods currently. And then this one will hold, this one has, we have two, we have six trolling rods on the boat right now as of this video. Two are on this side, four are on this side, and then in here is kind of a pain in the butt, but it works. I think there's 12 rods in here, because there's 17 total. 
no, I'm sorry. There's 11 rods on in here. Yeah, there's 11 rods in here right now. I think. Nine. Nine. There's I'm sorry. I'm I'm wrong. There's nine rods here, which we could easily put more in. We're talking about adding some more casting rods. Um, the problem we stopped at this because when we used to have these, we had two of these rods in here, and it made putting all these away very very tight. It, it was very frustrating. So we come up with this idea. It may get changed down the road. Right now it's working great for us. Um, and we're gonna add probably at least another four to five rod casting rods in here yet. This thing can hold up to an eight foot six rod, I believe. You have to look at the website and quote, to, don't quote me on that. You have to check the website out, but I believe that's what it is. Um, it's either eight six or eight foot, one of the two. But this thing holds a lot of rods. And it is lockable, which the dry storage is lockable, under the console is lockable, and this is lockable. So if you're mooring up your boat and you don't want nobody messing with your, you know, thousand dollars worth of rods, lock them up, you're good to go. Anyway, moving back, we have a, we have a swim platform right here. I know it ain't very big, but you know what? It is what it is. It actually comes in handy because if she pulls up, my wife pulls up parallel to the dock, it's easy to just jump right on here and jump in and I need to oil my hinges what there's a swim ladder if you're out swimming and you need to get back on the boat or if you try a casting net for the first time and fall in the water and you need to recover and get back on the boat you can do that right here while your wife laughs hysterically at you but anyway it's real easy to deploy it's just a velcro strip on velcro it Throw it down in the water kick it down in the water either way it'll go in the water so that's pretty much the top of the boat um we picked this up at bowers marine in temple pennsylvania awesome 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 people to deal with we traded a 09 tahoe in on it and it's a, it's a tahoe is a tracker product and these guys are tracker dealers so they begrudgingly had to take it but when we took it up there, they were really impressed with it and they gave us a really good trade in. So we came home with this one, which this is a 2019. We bought it brand new. The, um, talking to the guy up there and they don't put motors on their boats right away. They let you pick the motor. So if you look on the website, it says it comes stock with like a 60 or a 90 horse four stroke. Again, I'm not hundred percent sure. I don't look at the brochures that often. We opted to go with the 115 XS Pro. Um, and because they didn't have the motor on the boat, they let us pick the motor. We didn't have to pay them to put the motor on the boat and pull the old motor off the boat, which was awesome. That's why these guys were a phenomenal to deal with. I have a lot of gray hair on this side. They gave us the winter cover too. And the shipping cover that these we both ship from the factory in, they gave to us and they told us that they, so they recommend using as the winter cover. Um, which we've done it three years now and two years yeah, two. two two winners so far and it's been awesome like it it really saved now. um and this cover like this this shipping cover is no joke like it's got a ratchet strap going around the bottom of it it's real thick durable plastic it's got two zippered openings one at the um the wheelchair access door for the side door no actually that's the, that's the only one i'm sorry but it, it covers the whole boat like it and then we just throw in a water absorber bucket that pulls any moisture from the inside and fills it up with some white little balls i'm not 100 sure what they do but it works all winter long and we get anywhere from oh man i'd say anywhere from six inches to two foot of snow here a year depending on the year some years is more some years is less some years it's just 20 degrees below zero and it don't get no snow other years we get a bunch of snow the last two years we've gotten a decent amount of snow and this thing was it looked just like this when we opened it up in the summer like it, it was no mold no mildew it still smelled like a brand new boat it was awesome but anyway um i'm gonna pull this bimini down real quick so you can kind of see how that is one person operation take it down again you just and just kind of walk it across don't fall over the table mount and don't do this upside down, it sucks. But it literally, come on guys, you can't get much easier than that. 
That's it. That's simple. And for all you haters out there, I've had boats with Bimini's on that didn't have this. They sucked and they were for one person to take down. So don't even give me your crap. So back to the boat, there's really not much to it. I mean, you've seen the motor, it's Pro XS. It has a hot tune in it, which is basically like a detuned 150. Realistically, and I'll do a video on this, but realistically, you're gonna look at about with two people on board, full tank of fuel, and with fishing gear or gear, you're looking at, I think I've seen the top speed of like 27 mile an hour. I mean, and that's with like no wind. Normally it's like 24, 25, maybe 25 and a half. Um, but it's a 22 foot pontoon boat. If you wanted a speed boat, don't get a 22 foot pontoon boat, basically. Uh, 150 is the max motor size you can put on one of these two on the twin tune now the tri tune i think you can go up to a 200 but you're also looking at 10 grand more and that's 10 grand worth of fishing gear that i could buy instead of a bigger boat but over on this side we keep our that's where we keep our transducer for the back motor and our live well pump i don't know if you see it in that side that little concave right here but everything kind of slim trim and this does have a 32 gallon fuel tank on it, which being it's a four stroke, you can go quite a ways on a 32 gallon fuel worth of fuel on this lake. It's a 28 mile lake that we boat on. And um, yeah, we can boat for over a week. Now hard running, of course, you're not gonna get the kind of fuel mileage, but if you're just running out to a fishing hole, throwing up the trolling motor and trolling around most of the day, you don't burn a lot of fuel. Um, if you're Full blown, full throttle, running 28 miles one way. Yeah, you're gonna eat through about a quarter of a tank. But all in all, it does get pretty good fuel mileage. And then it's got these ship, these um, mooring cleats for all four corners. And it does come with a trailerable cover. It's like a summer cover. It, it snaps down in underneath this rail right here. In the cold, it's a pain in the butt to take on and off, which, sorry, but I am not putting it on just for this video. Um, it's a pain in the butt. But if you're gonna store it for a week or two at a time, or trailer it anywhere and don't wanna get the road dirt and all that kind of stuff on it, it is a pretty nice cover. Um, and that came included with the boat. So, and you can pick these up at any tracker dealer or Bass Pro, Cabela's. Um, there's a lot of individual tracker dealers out there that can probably hook you up with one of these if you're looking for one i know the 2021s they changed some stuff on them i'm not sure what they changed yet but i think the bimini actually has a sound system built into it or something like that i believe all the new ones have that which kind of makes me want to upgrade to that but that ain't gonna happen so yeah other than that um i hope you enjoyed the video if there's anything you want to see, really, I gotta, I gotta chase you down now. If there's anything you want to see more depth of or more detail, shoot us a comment and we will try to accommodate that. And at a later point in time, we will do a video with all the seats in and kind of like in family mode. Um, so you guys can see that out. Other than that, it's just literally four fishing chairs and that's about it. But be safe. Remember, mistakes make memories.